I'm pretty sure like you have questions like who should you go and grab out of all these characters. Wait, not not them. Yeah, her. <laughs> so, you know, these four characters, these four characters, and then there's like Shin Yan. And there's one more character who's gonna be another, a new four star character. It was on a deserted moonlit night. Dude, shut up. Who should you get out of these four star characters or something like that? Dude, why are you reading books? I don't even read scripts. Okay, so I don't wanna make it very long for myself to edit and make this video, so I'll just keep it quick. I just realized a couple of things and I'm making this part again, so let's just continue. <laughs> Right, Sincho. If you don't have his constellation zero, get him, right? But let's say you already have his constellation zero, what should you go and do? We already have Shangling. I'll say if you don't have any Yao Yao, she's your next best option. Same goes with not Beidou. Beidou is not useful at C0, okay? Like she's not. This condition is like, if you don't have any Pyro DPS, you're looking at Yao Fei, right? Like she has a little bit of value. Mm, cryo infusion I'm, I'm i'm a bit confused but if you don't have a c0 you can get chung in c0 ningguang and yunjin are not one of those characters who are gonna be of any use at c0 they're not they're not so we're looking at if you have all, this guy c0 then go and grab those characters now next up constellations if you already have c1 of xing Chou, getting c2 is gonna be absolutely insane if you don't have c2 shangling stay at c1 stay at c0 is perfectly fine but if you have c2 shangling i will highly recommend you make your way to c4 shangling that's gonna be something super good but only do it after you have constellation 2 xing Chou because c2 xing Chou is kind of cracked c4 shangling is more important than c6 xing Chou. just bear that in mind so these two characters are done now beto so if you already have xing Chou and shangling at constellation Constellation 2 and Constellation 4 respectively, if you ever want to trade then I'm always ready. Come on, Beto, we'll, we'll fight later. If you already have C1 Beto, then try getting her C2. And there's also one more condition, and that condition is that you're not supposed to have Raiden Shogun. If you already have Raiden Shogun, I don't think that you actually need Beto. Once you have Raiden Shogun, then you get Fischl and Kukishinobu. These are the only three Electro characters that you need in Genshin Impact if you have Raiden Shogun. If you don't have Raiden Shogun, then for some time you win you may want to go and grab yourself Beidou until you get yourself right and choke it. Because again, five star characters are five star characters and they need five star primo gems. All right, so that does for Beidou. Okay, C2 Xing Chou, C4 Shangling, and Beidou. Those are important. Also, I want you to keep an eye out for this stuff. Okay, go to shop. These things, just save this thing, okay? When you go and wish, don't use it. Save these things and buy these constellation. C6 Fischl is absolutely broken. C6 Shangling is absolutely broken. About Yao Yao, I'm, I'm not gonna recommend you to go and grab lots of her constellation because at some point in the game, okay? If you're like me, you will eventually go and grab yourself Baiju. He's way more complete character than Yao Yao. And on top of that, he's a Catalyst user. So you can also have him as an on-field driver. So for someone like me, I just don't see a value in Yao Yao. So Yao Yao loses value over there. The only character who does not lose any value are Shangling and Xing Chou. C6 Xing Chou and C6 Shangling are two of the most cracked character in the game. If you have their C6, then you can decide to get more constellations of Beidou. Someone like Yao Yao, if you don't want to get yourself Baiju. So for me personally, only two important characters are Xing Chou and Shangling, which are just the most used character in Genshin Impact. You won't believe me if I tell you that I bought like three constellations of Xing Chou from this place. I had to buy a lot of Xing Chou because I never Never. Also, you guys need to understand, you can save a lot of Primo gems. Like, the 10,000 Primo gems worth nothing. I can go and spend all of it. Chances of me actually getting, let's say, someone like her is literally zero. About Yoon Jin, she does a lot of things, but there are barely any characters in the game that are gonna take advantage of her. Like, she does burst damage. This guy needs you to do... I mean, there are other options that are way better than Yoon Jin. So there's absolutely no reason for you to go and get her. Like, unless... I don't know. <laughs> you, you really don't need this character. Ning Wang, there is some value because yeah, we got this new artifact set that, that has all the defense, you know. She's only good after Constellation 6, okay? <laughs> As a DPS character, because four star characters absolutely lack in damage. Like they're not the character you want to build as main DPS characters. Unless like you go and have this weapon, a five star catalyst. But this artifact set is pretty good. Okay, like I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty insane artifact set. Yeah, this does gives you the reason to get her, build her and have fun with her. Only if you can get her constellation six. 
okay? Without Constellation 6, I'm not building her. Dude, about the new 4-star character. He's an on-field DPS. Who the f*** is gonna use him? <laughs> They're just for fun. Again, if you don't have Constellation 6, I'm not recommending. And about Shin Yan, Shin Yan? Yeah, forget about her. Just listen to her music. That's pretty much it. Apart from that, you don't need her for anything. Okay. All right, was that a good video? No. <laughs> you know what? I, I should just record this again.